Hello everyone and welcome to another broadcast from the Mantic Bunker. I've been here for several days, they're not going to let me out. Uh, but I think, Matt, if I'm right, that I'm kicking off the first of our preview so. blogs. If I've done my job. Blogs, on. video, yes. <laughs> Theoretically, Theoretically, I should be the first. Although this is one of the last that we're filming. Anyway, Second. Dead Zone. Now, seems possibly apt that we're talking about containment protocols and uh, outbreaks um, with Dead Zone. Uh, but we've kind of got a lot to talk about, really. So Dead Zone continues to be extremely popular. Um, I think there would have been a tournament at uh, this weekend at Adepticon. We're also looking at doing a tournament here at the UK in the future as well. Uh, and there are plenty up and down the country. We've just had Franticon, uh, organised by the lovely Ben Edwards and the Frantic Gamers podcast down in London. Uh, and I think they, I can't remember how many players they had. Let's say they had 150 players. Uh, but they had a lot of players. That was also the um, kind of one of the biggest tournaments in the UK we've had so far. So it's been great to see uh, and it still continues to grow. And I think that shows it's such a bloody brilliant game. Ultimately, I love it. Um, so I think one of the things we want to talk about is if you're interested in Dead Zone, how you can get into it uh, and the best way to get into it, really. One thing is the core rules are free on the website, so you can kind of download them and try them out. Um, and we're also, we realize a few people are like, oh, what do I need alongside the core rules? Well, you need a copy of Escalation. Now, wouldn't it have been a good idea if I had one in front of me now? Matt, you'll have to flash one up. I'm not expecting you to hold it in my hands there, but use your imaginations that here I am holding a copy of Escalation. So Escalation is all the up-to-date stats, all the up-to-date scenarios, all the up-to-date abilities and items that you need alongside the core rulebook. Um, so all this week, and maybe for a bit longer as well actually, we are reducing the, co the cost of Escalation to half price. And that includes the digital one as well. So if you want to kind of grab it quickly, uh, you can download that. We're also doing it so that if um, for a limited time only you get the starters, the core rulebook, you will also get a free copy of Escalation as well. So that means you're up to date with everything you need for Dead Zone. Uh, because we've got quite a lot of exciting stuff planned. I think last year we missed out on not having a summer campaign. Unfortunately, the timings didn't kind of work out for that one. But we are looking at doing an online campaign, hopefully this year, probably towards the end of the year. I think the summer will be busy with something else. So I've got to remember that this that won't have been talked about yet when I'm doing this video, but you will find out soon. So we'll be busy with that. So we won't be able to do uh, kind of an online campaign then, uh, but we will be doing one hopefully later in the year. Uh, also kind of, we realized that it's not necessarily easy if you're kind of locked away in your home to get lots of gaming in at the minute. So from now, hopefully if I've remembered to make this live on the website, you can download the Nexus size supplement for free. And in the Nexus size supplement, you get rules for playing Dead Zone solo, basically. So if you can't get out of the house, still fancy getting your Dead Zone fix, then great news, you can play Nexus size. You might need some extra plague zombies, um, but you can use those as well. So you can get them from the website uh, and hopefully get them delivered. So yeah, kind of a lot going on, easier than ever to get into Dead Zone. Um, and that's not all. So at Christmas, if you can remember that far back, um, before everyone was stocking up on toilet roll, we kind of talked about some of the previews for different games. And unfortunately, Dead Zone wasn't one of those games because we didn't have the stuff ready that we wanted to show. But I think we've alluded to, I've alluded to it pretty heavily actually. Um, what we are doing this year is releasing a new sub-faction. So a bit like we did the Vault Chasers last year for the Veermin, and we had the Alpha Strike Team for the Rebs. This year, we have the Matsudan. Matsudan. That seems like a more appropriate way to say it. So if you've played Dreadball, you will be well aware of these, basically, sumo wrestling space lizards. They are big, fat lizards. Um, and actually, we have had them in Dead Zone before. Um, we, if you've played with the Mercs, you'll know we've got Otisora. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it to add to my display here, but maybe Matt will magically add that in the edit 
or if we can't find the render, it won't be there. But we added Otisora to the Asterians, and the idea was that was, um, so the Asterians, if you know your dead zone law, are kind of all about bringing balance. Uh, they want to restore balance, and obviously things like the plague is kind of tipping the balance towards bad, I guess the GCPS are a little bit as well with all the corporations. So their aim is to try and maintain a level playing field, I guess, for everyone. Um, and the Matsudan are incredibly honourable. They're an ancient civilization, possibly as old as the Asterians, uh, which we'll kind of go into in the the release. But these are an ancient race of sumo wrestling space lizards. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and the idea is that these are extremely honourable. Their whole society is to do with honour. So if you play Dread Ball, you'll know they can't foul intentionally. And we wanted to kind of carry that over to Dead Zone as well. So you'll see in a little bit with it with Otisora. The idea is, is that the Asterians are not necessarily tricking the Matsudan, but they're kind of saying, look guys, the GCPS are possibly one of the most dishonourable races. You know, all the corporations doing whatever they need to get their profit margins, no, definitely no uh, kind of bear resemblance to real life there with profit margins, but that's fine, Matt's laughing. Um, but so the Matsudan are really kind of all about bringing honor, they see the GCPS as dishonorable, and the Asterians are like, hey, we can use this, why don't we team up with them? So we have got a sub-faction for the Asterians actually, the Matsudan can team up with the Asterians, the idea is that they're very good with marionettes. Again, if you know your Asterian law, the marionettes are the kind of robots that um, the Asterians control. They don't like to get their hands dirty by going on the actual battlefield. So instead, they send the marionettes to face off. And we've got a number of Matsudan models. We're not going to show them all here, um, but we've got a few. We've got a new leader. Now, I've got to remember the names. It's the Toshi Yori. So... If you, uh, again, if you know your sumo wrestling, we've kind of taken inspiration from sumo wrestling names. And the idea for that one is the GCPS would probably see these big lizards and go, whoa, they look like sumo wrestlers back on earth uh, when sumo wrestling was still a thing. Probably is still a thing, actually, in the future. We should, ah, oh, we should totally do a dreadball version of sumo wrestling. Anyway, I guess it's Arena Wars in some ways. But, um, so yeah, so... We've got the Toshi Yori, which is the new leader. And then we've got uh, a couple of guys armed with huge guns. Uh, one of those is the Yokozuna. Again, you'll know if you know your sumo wrestling terms, you'll know he's like one of the kind of top sumo wrestlers. Uh, and we've also got a couple of other ones as well, which we won't spoil here. So the idea is, is that you can team these Matsudan up with the kind of existing marionettes and the drones, things like that, and create a very different looking Asterian list the playtesting has been going on for this for a while and the reaction has been really good. Um, people are really excited about this and hopefully we'll get to see more Asterians on the table because the marionettes in particular are probably one of my favourite hard plastics apart from the vermin for Dead Zone. But that isn't all for the Asterians. So if you're a Dead Zone player, you'll know that most of the factions have their kind of big Gribblies, they're big, well, Gribblies, I guess, for the for the play particularly, or they're big mechs. So you've got the Iron Ancestor for the Forge Fathers. You've got things like the Aberration or the Terraton um, for the Plague, or the Rebs, I guess, for the Terraton. You've also got the Strider um, and the awesome Stumpbot and Grumpbots for the Marauders. And we were looking at the Asterians and feeling, are these guys a bit unloved. Do they need their big model on the table that's kind of the iconic centerpiece for that unit? And well my answer was yes. And so with that I've been pushing for the release of a new Asterian mech which now we will hopefully reveal. Ta-da! So this is the Spectra. Uh, it's a brand new model. It will be in resin and I'm not sure because I obviously can't see what render you're going to see, but it will have like a blue translucent resin shield as well, like an energy shield. There'll be two weapon options. There'll be one with a gun and one with a sword. And hopefully if everything's gone right in the edit, you'll be seeing the one with the gun. Uh, we're gonna keep the one with the sword as a little bit of a secret for later on in the line. So as you can see, this is a really striking, possibly actually arguably one of the 
my favorite models in the dead zone range this is one of my kind of the models that i'm most excited about this year uh, and obviously with that energy shield it's going to be pretty tough to kill and we also wanted to do something a bit different i think there was some concern particularly uh rick hall on the dead zone podcast you know this was you uh moaning that not moaning just <laughs> worried, concerned let's say concerned that um all the factions if they all kind of had their mech it would become a bit too similar so what we've tried to do with this uh, mech is make it very, very different to kind of all the other ones play. So you've got the Iron Ancestor kind of stomping around. You know, he's a dwarf, he's slow, he's super tough. Ugh, how boring. Uh, but you've also got the Stump Bot, again, armed with a big chainsaw, bit slow, bit clumsy, kind of clunking around the battlefield. So the idea for the uh, Spectral was this is super agile, really mobile, can fly around a bit as well. So it's very different to your existing, even the Strider, I guess, really. It's kind of kind of much more nimble and agile compared to that one. So for Asterian players, it gives them a different option. And obviously, you can combine this with the Matsudan. So I love, 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 love the idea of the Matsudan with a few marionettes and the Spectra mech with them as well. I think that's going to be a really cool sub-faction. So, yeah, it's really exciting times, actually, for Dead Zone. Um, we're working on other things in the background as well, which are far too top secret to reveal here. Um, but there's lots going on. And actually, uh, later on in the year, if you are in the UK, there's the WAFCOM, the Weight of Fire convention, organised by the lovely Andy Sharp, uh, who is a member of the Rules Committee, the head of the Rules Committee, actually. And he also does Weight of Fire podcast, when they can be bothered to do the podcast, and the videos, equally when they can be bothered to do those. But we've got WAFCON here at Mantic HQ, and that includes the Dead Zone National Championships. So that's later in the year. So if you fancy coming along for that, uh, there's links on the website, so check those out too. So there we go. So that is the kind of Dead Zone preview. Um, we'll have more kind of on these, the Matsudan and the Mech, hopefully painted versions pretty soon. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the week of videos. I think you've got Ronnie in the next one. Ugh. But then again, I'm sure you'll probably spoil a lot more than I did. Um, Matt, is that true? Yeah. Okay, yes, he did. Okay. So um, enjoy the rest of the week. Again, hope you're all okay. Stay safe out there and see you soon. Bye.